In the last tutorial, we saw how to create a very simple bar chart, uh, which only has one uh, data series. And now I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of a more complex one, which has multiple data series. And you want to stack it or show it side by side. So let's clean up, get the working directory, load up the, the data set, and uh, write it to the local directory. Let's open it up. Basically, I want to do something like this. We're going to put the province and the order priority, and we're going to count how many orders are in each category. And make a stacked bar chart and then a side-by-side -side chart. So that's what we're looking to do in R. Let's see how it's done. So I'm not going to go into the details here. They're explained in, uh, in full in the uh, previous longer tutorial. Uh, let's just go and reshape the data first. So our new data set DF1 is going to look like this. we got the province here, the order priority, and the total number of orders per priority and, uh, and province. Uh, let's set the base for our graph, so the x and uh, y axes and variables and already this is pretty much or pretty close to what we need and we just need to make it a little bit more accessible and understandable to whoever's reading it so i'm going to pass a bunch of uh, parameters into the geom bar uh, function i'm going to make them uh, a little bit narrower so they're a bit more spaced out i'm going to that's the width here i'm going to uh, give them a uh, black uh, uh, frame of, uh, of width of 0.5 and I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, uh, opaque just so it, the colors are a bit less bright. Let's run that. Okay, that's pretty presentable. Um, add the theme minimal, totally optional here. It's just going to change the background from this gray and, and white grid lines to the opposite. It's going to be white and gray grid lines. Um, then let's take care of these uh, overlapping labels here by uh, creating the 45 degree angle much better uh, give the give the uh, axis some proper names and uh, uh, title okay so yeah total orders by priority total orders and a little caption here saying 2016 data it's not really but just showed it uh, and there's a little uh, trick here which is which can be useful you can actually do it just up here when reshaping the data filtering to only show you certain data points but you can also do it down here when you have a discrete variable on the x-axis and uh, tell it to uh, take a vector of only some of the of the data points and only show them so it's going to ditch all the uh, all the other data points which are not in this uh, in this vector so let's run that and now it's more spaced out, and we're only dealing with some of the main um, regions or, or provinces in, in the country. And the last thing is I want to add some uh, labels inside the chart so you can at one glance just know what we're talking about in terms of numbers. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to make this a side-by-side -side, uh, uh, bar chart, it's very, very simple. By default, R will stack your, uh, your data one on top of the other. Uh, so if you want to do it side-by-side, -side, you have to add the position dodge um, parameter into, uh, into GM bar. And that's going to do this. OK. So there you go. Download this code. Uh, I think this template will probably take care of 90% of the, of the different bar chart options of data series that look something like this that you might run into. Um, and uh, I just play around with some of the parameters, see what they do. Uh, the really lots of options and um, just uh, a little bit of trial and error will get it right for you. So I hope you find this useful and until uh, the next one.